Welcome back to N1 Mathematics. We're now progressing through to activity 1.3 on exponents. Now, as we go through these activities, you'll find that the questions get a bit more difficult. However, by the end of these activities, you're going to be a lot more confident and a lot more proficient at exponents. Please continue to like this channel, to share and subscribe to support this YouTube channel. Now, question one of activity 1.3, we have a power raised to an exponent. Where a power is raised to the exponent, we would multiply the exponents. Therefore, the base a to the exponent of 3 multiplied by 4 would give us a final answer of a to the 12. Question 2, we have a power of 2 to the 3 raised to the exponent of 2. Therefore, we would multiply 3 and 2. Simplified, 2 to the exponent of 6 would give us an answer of 64. Here in question 3, we are going to apply two exponential laws. The first law we're going to apply is a power raised to an exponent. Then the second law we're going to apply is where the bases are the same, we will add the exponents. So first of all, here we have a power of x to the 2 raised to the exponent of 4. Therefore, we're going to have 2 multiplied by 4. Now the bases of x are the same. Therefore, we would add the exponents. x to the 8 plus 6 would give us a final answer of a power of x to the 14. Here in question 4, we have minus x inside the bracket raised to the exponent of 8. Now, this is exactly the same as saying minus x multiplied by itself 8 times. Because it's raised to an even number, what will happen is we'll end up with a positive answer with x to the exponent of 1 multiply by 8. And that will give us a final power of x to the 8. Now in question 5, slightly different, we have x inside of the bracket raised to the exponent of 8, all multiplied by a coefficient of minus 1. Therefore, we would end up with a negative coefficient multiplied by x to the 8. Here in question 6, we have x and y raised to the exponent of 3. Now, where a power is raised to an exponent, we would multiply the exponents. Therefore, we have the base x with 1 multiplied by 3, and the base y with 1 multiplied by 3. Simplified, the answer is x to the 3 multiplied by y to the 3. Here in question 7, we have a coefficient of 5 raised to the exponent of 3, and we have a power of d to the 5 raised to the exponent of 3. Therefore, we would multiply the exponents. 5 to the exponent of 3 would give us 125, with a base d and exponent of 15. Here in question 8, once again, we have a coefficient of 3 raised to the exponent of 2, and our power of a to the 1 and b to the 3 raised to the exponent of 2. Therefore, a to the 2 and b 2 times 3 simplified, 3 squared would give us 9, a squared and b to the 6. Here in question 9, we would first simplify by raising a power to the exponent. Now, where the power is raised to the exponent, we would multiply the exponents. Then once again, we'll have a second law of multiplying the same bases. So first of all, a to the 2 times 3 and a to the 4 times 3 would give us a to the 6 multiplied by a to the 12. Now the exponential law, where the bases are the same and multiplying, we would add the exponents. And that would give us a to the 18. Here in question 10, we have a coefficient of minus 3 raised to the exponent of 3. Now, because we have an exponent of 3 and it's an odd number, it means our coefficient is going to remain a negative sign. A power of x to the 3 raised to the exponent of 3, a power of y squared raised to the 3, and the power of z to the 1 raised to the exponent of 3. Where the power is raised to an exponent, we would multiply the exponents. Therefore, we would end up with minus 27 
x to the 9, y to the 6, and z to the 3. In question 11, we have a fraction. Above the line, we have a power of x to the 3 raised to the exponent of 2, multiplied by x to the 4. Below the line, we have a power of x squared raised to the exponent of 4. Now, the same rule applies, even though we are dividing, we'll have x3 multiplied by 2 and x2 multiplied by 4 below the line. And we would simplify that. We would have x to the 6 multiplied by x to the 4 or divided by x to the 8. Now, above the line, we have the same bases and therefore we would add the exponents above the line. And then below the line, we have x to the 8. Now, where the bases are the same, we would then subtract the exponents. So to simplify this, we have base x to the exponent of 6 plus 4 minus 8. And that would give us a final answer of a power x squared. This is our final question. We have a power of 3 to the x plus 1, all raised to the exponent of 3. Now, where a power is raised to an exponent, we would multiply the exponents. Therefore, the base is 3 raised to the x multiplied by 3 plus 1 multiplied by 3. Therefore, our final answer is 3 to the exponent of 3x plus 3. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to hit that like button. Thank you.